Hello Leo and welcome to your future love reading. This is for Leo. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on with your future love. This is for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Let's see. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I feel like this is someone that you haven't spoken to. There's a total emotional, mental, physical, spiritual disconnect between you and this person and there's been silence. So let's see what the tarot has to say. This is for Leo. What does Leo need to know about their future love? If this resonates with you, Leo, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Leo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Leo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Leo. This is for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Let's see. Okay. Okay. So you got a little bit of unfinished business here with this person. I feel like you're going to reconnect because they're going to reach out to you. They've got some truth, some truths if I could talk, uh, to let you know about, right? So they still want this. It's very clear. Um, they're going to put in a lot more effort. Here's the issue. You were not, in your mind, right? You thought that there was somebody occupied somebody else occupying their mind and you got really tired of wondering and always thinking about okay what is this person doing who is who are they thinking about um where is their mind at where is their heart really at and you were not getting what you needed out of the situation and so it's like you just kind of fell away, right? Um, you had to, either you felt like you were pushed away or you walked away. But whatever the case, there was total emotional disconnect here. And so, eight cups. So what you wanted was to spend the rest of your life with this person. But they were not acting like they wanted to spend the rest of their life with you. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is longevity. This is family. This is, you know, abundance. Let's build a life together. Let's stay together forever. All the things. Let's grow old together. That's what you saw but they were acting differently. So things went really, really quiet here. You really had to do some soul searching on this. Um, and things have been quiet. They're not gonna be quiet for long. Um, just when they do come back to bring clarity to the situation, to try to reunite with you, to try to put effort in, you really want to have to think about this because you don't want a repeat of the same feeling of the same situation. You could be dealing with a Virgo. 
So there hasn't been a whole lot of movement here, but they will move towards you. It's like, I feel like this person was feeling like they got almost cold feet, like they were starting to feel stuck. And then they slowly tried to like distance themselves from you. And then in your mind, their mind and their heart were occupied by some someone else. And that's why they started to pull back. And it's a terrible feeling. Um, you haven't been moving towards this and you're not going to move. They have to move and they will move. So it's just kind of, they're, they're in their head right now, figuring out the best way to go about this. Eight of Swords. And so here's the clarity that they need. Um, I feel like they're getting a real hard dose of their reality without you in it. They still want to win. They've got a lot of, a little bit of confession, a lot of things to say here. So a conversation is going to be happening here. And what they want is to, to be with you again, right? But to be with you when it was good like it was fresh it was new it was exciting that's that's what they want um they started to feel really trapped and this and it made you believe that they wanted to explore other energies or you know they were lusting for someone else right so they want to be with you again the challenge here, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with Sagittarius in their chart, is the patience, first of all, I feel like you're running out, reconnecting, finding a balance between the two of you, having a more balanced relationship where you're not the one that's carrying the weight of the entire situation effort they're going to put a lot in it they want to work on things they want to rebuild this right so they're going to show you um, they're going to speak it and then they're going to back it up with action here so eight of pinnacles so this story isn't over um there's the wheel is turning here there's more to this story. There's uh, definitely some unfinished business here. It's going to be up to you at the end of the day if you accept what they say and what they do. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Leo. This is for Leo. So, definitely a past life energy here, but they're returning. Can they work out, can you guys work out this toxic energy between the two of you? Only time will tell. But they really got to step up their game if they want you to stick around. We got the devil here, Capricorn energy, and we got the six of cups. They're returning. So hopefully they've worked out some of their demons. And, you know, if you, you want to see what they got to say, what actions they will take. And see if some of this toxic energy can be worked out between the two of you. All right, Leo, that is your future love. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.